Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to our weekly podcast with you as always is Nathaniel Masai and Mr. Andres Nieto. Nati. Fernando, how, how are, are you? I'm Everything doing well. good? Yes. Como estas? Muy bien. How are you today? I'm very good, my friend. We have another Spanish speaker, but she's actually Ethiopian and I am more proud and honored to actually have her on my podcast on this week. How are you, Miss Yodi? I am very good. Thank you very much for having me. Nati. Of course, always. It's a pleasure. Mm-hmm. And it's always a pleasure to have someone here who has had so many life experiences as much as you did. Because you, we were talking and you were telling me you've been like maybe half of the countries around the world. Not quarter. No. Quarter. Quarter. Quarter of the... No one can Not say that. Quarter. Anymore. It is quarter. What do you mean? There are like one, 192 Seven? countries Seven. in the world? Yeah, around 200. So How many countries uh, have you visited bigger. already? Uh, she visited like 64. 64. So there was a quarter. Yeah. You Almost move. a quarter. <laughs> you, most, more, you have 14 <laughs> countries more than a quarter. Because if it's 200, even if it's 50. <laughs> We're going to the maths now. <laughs> We're, going, We're doing math on <laughs> Ramzin <laughs> Talks. How, how, how is it actually surviving and experiencing different kind of cultures around the world? Because it's not exactly what, we're, what we are used to. Oh, it's beautiful. That's it's a beautiful very, thing. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. It makes you grow as a person. Definitely. Yeah. And okay. s- and see other things. Seeing other things basically fills you up. It fills your head with a lot of yeah. And learning knowledge. about all the cultures, I guess, uh, also open your mind to yeah. different experiences, different ideologies. Of course. Absolutely. You become more tolerant. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's very t- tolerant. <laughs> In start which, in start which, traveling in Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> I am tolerant. What do you mean? I'm very tolerant. In I'm not which, saying you are not. I'm saying you can be more. More tolerant. <laughs> it's not enough. My tolerance is not enough. <laughs> what kind of tolerance would you get? I mean, in which cases, basically? Um, let's say, for example, in religion. Okay. Right? Or... Okay, maybe religion can be like touchy business because mm. people get very I emotional agree. about Everyone it. Everyone gets offended. Very offended. Yeah. But uh, I'm a Christian. I'm Orthodox. I'm yeah. from Ethiopia. We're very religious. We love our religion. We're very respectful. Mm. Uh, but there comes to a time like we would say like, oh, like, you know, I, when it comes to other things, we're very like, mm. no, you know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, even we also have like a Muslim community, you know, like it's half half uh, in Ethiopia, right? Yeah. And even the Muslim community, they're very respectful to their religion. Devoted, like, but yeah. other thing, it's like, Definitely. no, no, right? Good. In Ethiopia, we, we kind of, we live together. Like, Definitely. you know, we, we eat in each other's homes. We, we respect our prayer times. Yeah. It's very nice and beautiful. But for example, like if you tell a regular Ethiopian Orthodox or a Muslim person about Buddhism or if they're in their temple, they would be like, you know, yeah. or in a Hindu ceremony, they wouldn't be open about it. Yeah. Okay. So for me, being out and learning and going to places made me more open and tolerant to towards people. that because if I am there, it's a holy place, I will respect their rules. Yeah. You exactly. know, like the same way when I go to church, I will cover my hair and take off my shoes. If that's what is required there, I will do. Mm. Okay. You know, like if, if there is a ceremony that has to be like, you know, I don't be like, I'm not yeah. defensive, you know, like I'm, I'm tolerant. But yeah. have you ever feel uncomfortable about it? Never. Never. Like that's the thing. Like, that's what traveling gave me. I am tolerant towards their culture. Yeah. You know, like if they want to pray for me, sure. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm okay with that. I have no problem. Like I'm not praising their Lord, mm. but if they want to pray for me, Sure, more Heads. protection for me. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> right? <That's very> true. <laughs> you know? That is very true. Like, in my heart, and from what I know since I was a child, Christianity, and I'm Orthodox, and like, you know, God. But, but you know, I'm like, if there is another one that wants why to protect not to, me, of I'm course, like, yeah. sure, I mean, you know, like, yeah. wonderful. It doesn't mean like I'll become that, but I respect yeah. theirs. Just and like we pray for the other people. Exactly. Yeah. It's the same thing. When it comes to food, they be like, ah, oh, like I wouldn't eat this. Mm. This is that. That's not okay. You don't want people to do that to your food. Mm, exactly. You know, you that's tolerance as well. You will try it. If you don't like it, respectfully decline. Mm-hmm. The same thing. Like with many things, you know, yeah. with the way of life, the way they say hello. Definitely. Makes you grow. And Definitely. each one of all the cultures, you know, around the world, 
do you think is the more open, like for, let's say for travelers, for tourists, like the more friendly ones? The friendly ones? It's Dubai. I <laughs> I didn't say that. But Who Dubai, said we that? have a lot of culture. Who said that? <laughs> yeah, du Dubai is a melting pot, no? For all the cultures. Yeah. And like for you guys, like you don't even need to go anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> we you know? exactly we went went here, You want to go to India, you go this way. You want to go to Ethiopia, you go this In way. Latin right? America, go this part. Yeah, you yeah, want to go to Europe. You know, you have a little bit. You can just go to Global Village, you have every country. Oh, yes, yeah, done. exactly. <laughs> <You're> done. <laughs> you know, but mm, I think... I like Asia a lot. So Asian culture. Europe is also nice. They're very tolerant in many ways, like, you know. Um, but Asia, I feel like they're very tolerant. Okay. Like, I in guess every it's way. Different. It's also their religion, I think. Mm. It's different, I guess, huh? than, than what we're used to. It's more different. Maybe because more in Asia, welcoming they're for... Yeah. They're, I think also maybe they have, like, a lot of uh, tourists... So they're more accommodating to whomever. Mm. Okay. You know, everyone is welcome. Everyone is trusted. I mean, everywhere is open. Yeah. But, you know, in some cultures, like in Ethiopia, for example, we don't know a lot. And we also are not, like, very connected with a lot of tourists. Mm. So we don't really know. We just say French, but we don't really know anything about <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, that's true. Right? Yeah. And then we're welcoming because we're friendly people. Yeah. yeah. But then when you see Thai people or Indian... And then you're like, they take friendly to the next level. <laughs> you know, they take uh, like the way they treat people and re the respect they give you and mm. the way they accommodate you from one dollar budget to, you know, whatever yeah. budget yes. that you have. They can accommodate you, but still having that, you know, Extra same respect thing. and same type of like, so I think... And, uh, and they're, of course, they're Hindu, they're Buddhist, they're Buddhist, so it's, their religion is very tolerant as yeah, well. Yeah, the mindset way. is like totally different. The mindset is very different, you know? I really like, uh, like, I learned a lot from them. Yeah. And we have a little project, prodigy, by the way. Even Andres has traveled. How many countries have you traveled? Um, oh, I know I it's not even close to her. No, of course not. No, I've traveled about around 30 countries. It's not the 60. 30? <laughs> still He's something. like, oh, very, very <laughs> it's modest. Just 30. <laughs> what do you mean? Look 30, 30 countries years is a old, lot. So <laughs> it's one year per con country. That's <laughs> so you've been traveling since you're one year old. Yeah. <laughs> That's Even priceless. from from the belly, I was already. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's, that's how that's true. Thirty countries. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's around. really nice, man. Yeah. Which countries do you actually remember visiting? I'm sure you remember all of them, but all of them, of course, like stood out. Presently, I've traveled to Egypt. I was there, and Ethiopia as well. So when you were speaking about the Ethiopian culture, like I was thinking about how was my experience there. I've been there there three times actually. Mm -hmm. He's in Ethiopian Addis. now. Yeah. yeah he, Half Ethiopian. I am, every day I eat injera. He <laughs> eats injera with us. Go us He's, it's his go favorite us. food. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. But believe me, at the beginning, it was shocking for me, like this difference of food, yeah. of culture. Yeah. But now I feel one of you guys, to be honest. Yeah. And when I was there, the people were like very friendly with me. Yeah. Even I went some of like days just to walk around there alone. And yeah. people, oh, of course, they can see that I'm like not from Ethiopia. <laughs> yeah. So even though they approached to me, they tried to help me. I was looking for something like supermarket or something. They don't speak English, yeah. but they tried to do. They want yeah. to communicate. Exactly. They want to know. Yeah. And they were very friendly always. Yeah. So really, really like Ethiopian culture. I, if you ask me right now, like which of the travels or the places, like one of them is for sure Ethiopia, Ethiopia. because of the people. Yeah. And. Well, countries are all different, all different. Everyone and like, from each, there are some qualities and differences yeah, that you can actually pick out them. and say, okay, exactly. this is the good part of it. Exactly, because many of the countries are, as you were saying, they're more focused on the tourists. Mm. Mm. So, you know, the mindset is kind of difficult, yeah. like yeah. different. But yeah. there is that actually different people that is genuine. Like they born like this and they do it by... Yeah. From the heart, heart because yeah. they, they are who, that's who they are. Yeah, exactly. It's Just also what you're exposed to, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like I think like the Asians they're like in the Thailand, like the as example I took, it's because they're more exposed to more people. Mm. So, so they, they know they how to communicate, to you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Ethiopia, we're very friendly. We have all of this, like obviously, like I can't say like we're the amazing because it will be like biased, <laughs> you know. Of course we are amazing. <laughs> of course but, you are. Um we're not as exposed 
as yeah. to connect yeah. with many people on a daily basis. Yeah. yeah. yeah you yeah, know, yeah. like unless you're a tour guide or, mm. a, you know, like this, you don't really get to meet many foreigners in Ethiopia, that's like true. as a, a regular people. Yeah. But yeah, in Thailand, I think it's kind of like they're yeah. really, like it's Everything. many, many people. A lot of yeah. people. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So our kindness comes from the heart. That's what she's trying to yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. It Ethiopian doesn't people, come from being sure. a customer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And other places that you have lived uh, long enough is Spain, I think, uh, which is have, how you got to speak Spanish as well. Yes, I lived in Spain. I lived in Indonesia because like after school, like I wanted to do internship in Indonesia. Yeah. But then, you know, like it's really nice. So it's been like bouncing around. It was, it's, yeah, beautiful place. It's That's so, why like I kind of fall in love with the Asia yeah. part because obviously Africa I am African. Yeah. yeah. It's my home. Mm. But it will be biased if I say like, oh, Ethiopia. Right? <laughs> best, yeah. I am speaking like as an Ethiopian, what I feel like about outside okay. countries, outside. right? So as an outside country, obviously Spain is amazing because I live there and they have very similar culture to ours. Really? Surprisingly. You know, like in Yale, we call each other for coffee. Yeah. They okay. do the same. They do the same they thing. They knock doors like to you ask for... It, yeah, in ah, Latin America, South, South America. America. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like it's warm, you know. It's very warm. That's it's nice. not like uh, they're warm people. They're very friendly. Yeah, you can ask like uh, you can knock the door and ask for salt or sugar. Yeah, in, in Germany you can't do that. They will call police on you. Like, well, they're like what the hell are you calling the door for? Like, who are you in my door? You know, so <laughs> you know they're very like they're more cold. They're more reserved yeah. in Germany and like this. But in Spain they're very friendly. Like after work, aperitivo, everybody's out on the terrace drinking uh, beer, you That's know? very nice. They're very yeah. friendly. They're very warm. We have many things very similar. They're very familiar, like... Yeah, actually, they are. With, family, with their communities With their everything. community, with their friends, with their neighbors. Like, it's more li just like us. So mm. they made you feel part of their family. Yes, they made me feel like part of the family. I didn't miss all of this, like, connection we have in Ethiopia because I had it there. It's amazing. The same thing in in uh, Indonesia. I didn't feel like I was, you know, like most some places they would make you feel like you're like the immigrant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. You know, but there I didn't feel like that. I felt like I was home. The people were super nice. The place is beautiful. It was easy, you know, okay. it was really nice. So that's it's kind of biased as well yeah. because I lived in those places and I have like deeper connection mm. with them. Mm -hmm. The same as Ethiopia. Mm. But yeah. Nice. So, okay. yeah. So, now we're in Dubai, Nati, right? That's exactly what I was going <laughs> to ask. That's Tell exactly. us about your experience here in Dubai because, as we were speaking before, you told me you have been here like different times. Yeah. You're speaking about the cultures, about the welcoming. Here in Dubai, you will f I guess you will find all of these cultures yes. just in one place. Yeah. So, spill the beans that Dubai is actually the best place. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Like I told you before, the first time I came, I didn't have a good experience. Not a good experience, but I came with an expectation in my head. Mm, okay. And. Which expectation it, it did they fill out? Um, okay, so I came, like, I was living in, like, I came straight from Madrid. So, like, I, was, I came with uh, the European mentality. Okay. And the cosmopolitan, like, that was sold about Dubai. Like, I just came with, you know, yeah. different vibes. You can so, do everything here. Exactly. Maybe. I came in, the buildings, everything was, like, out of space. I was like, mm. whoa, yeah. you know, like, it absolutely is crazy and beautiful. Yeah. And then I come across like I was with my boyfriend, so like there were certain things like you can't do, you know? Yeah, that's true. I didn't know. So like we were told like, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. I'm like, oh, there is a lots of things that you can yeah. do. Like, okay. And then, you know, we were trying to go to bars or clubs and there were certain things that we weren't allowed to do. Yes. Not inside, but even like they wouldn't like some place they didn't let us in. I'm like, what is going on? Like, you know, yes. this is supposed to be like, you know? And there were just some things that I had different... In your mind. I, I made my own movie in my head. Mm, okay. So that movie in this movie I was living wasn't going together. Yeah. But that wasn't Dubai's problem. That was my drop problem. <laughs> okay. Because I, I created my own movie. Yeah. You know? You created your own Dubai. Yeah, yeah. I created my own thing that didn't exist. So it was my problem. Okay. So the next time I came, I was like, oh, I'm not going to come back. But I have my sister here. So I'm like, oh, okay, I have to go back. Next time I came here, I came with zero expectation and with open mind. Mm. Okay. I had the best time of my life. Yeah, that's how you basically... You know, like, Dubai embraced me, like, embraced me with its 
everything. Yeah. You know, like I was able to enjoy everything, like the restaurants, the malls, okay. the desert, the people, the energy. You know, like even when you go out, like you arrive to the airport, there is this energy that it, that welcomes it's, you. Yeah, from and the beginning. And it's beautiful. It's welcoming and you feel very safe. Yeah. And I think that's the most important thing is to feel safe. Yes, definitely. Especially as a tourist. You know, you go to Barcelona or something, you're always like this. With your phone. Like. <laughs> you know, yeah. even an address. Like you're, yeah, you're always. You know, like you have to hold on to here. Like that's what we were saying. Like I would be scared now in an address because I would forget my phone and leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's you know, because too. I got so used Once to being twice, here, yeah. the safety, you know. So, yeah, Dubai is uh, amazing. So your it's, advice yeah. is... Come without expe expectations and let Dubai surprise you. Yes, like let Dubai embrace you because sometimes like we want things the way we want them, mm. but you're coming to somebody's house. Mm. Yes. When you go to somebody's house, respect their house, respect their rules. Their rules. And everything is great. Yeah. Yeah. Everything exactly. is going to be priceless. Exactly, you know, like if you come with respect and you respect the local culture, you respect their home, you don't do anything naughty, Yeah. Which you shouldn't do anyways. Yeah, anyways, exactly. Right? And if you want to do it, do it at home. Yes. Don't come to somebody's house and Don't do bother it. the other ones. Yeah. Like, you know, like there are rules and uh, cultures and instructions in each country because that's mm. how that's this is. Culture. And if you don't like to respect that, then you don't have to come. And yeah. that right? actually is the culture here, the culture of respect in Dubai that is allowing us, yeah. everyone, all the cultures, cultures to live in just one place. Yeah. Because if we respect that, we respect the other. Everyone will the have Dubai a good dream. day. Yeah. The Dubai dream. Yeah, <laughs> the Dubai dream. Yeah, for have, sure. Have the best minds in the world come here and yeah. exactly. make it the best city. Exactly. That's how it is. It's a dream team. It's like mm -hmm. uh, I always say it, having Messi and Ronaldo at the same, <laughs> yeah. same team. That would be the dream team. Yeah. So that's why I think Dubai is creating as well. And by the way, holding hands is okay now in Dubai standards. Okay. <laughs> yes. For FYI, for everyone. This was 10 years ago. The, oh, wow. Years ago. That is, that has yeah, been. Yeah, for sure. That has, a lot, a lot of, of things, things have changed have, already. Yeah. Yeah. Like every time, we said this earlier as well, like every time I come, there's something new. There's something new. And you never get bored in Dubai. Like when you think that you saw everything, you haven't seen anything. Yeah. You know, like there's always something and new, something beautiful, yeah. something exciting. Yeah. Like, wow. And you next know, time like, you're you're gonna come, I'm sure me and Andres will have something ready. Yeah, yeah, for in you, real for estate sure. for sure. Like even different in, kind of perspective. Yeah, even in real estate and investments in Dubai, it's like you you can grow. Yes, you know, like the money you invest will always come back to you. That's how I felt. Like I didn't invest yet, but from what I, what I have seen, and from the, your the, company that you're doing here, exactly. The small thing is, uh, for if you invest in Europe, yes, it's good. But everything is already done, yeah. right? There is nothing to build on. There is nothing to grow on. Mm. Dubai, I have said this a thousand times, it hasn't even been 40% yeah, done. Exactly. You see the map there and you see still all the areas that Everything still is developed. literally, the only thing that is being built is like an L shape. And that's around the, uh, the beaches and a little bit after yeah. that, right? So there is a lot of things to do, which is like if there's something, if this cup is going to be bigger, invest it on, on yeah. the yes. cup instead of investing on this microphone, which is yeah. already bigger. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know the, the idea? Yeah. So that's what we're trying to give. Be an early investor and then later on you can actually give it back to your country and give it yeah. back to your family See the and, results. Your, and, and everything else. Yeah. So that's what do I offer. So be an early investor. I'm talking to you as well. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much for joining us Miss Yuri it was an amazing time and we hope to have you again soon for thank sure I hope thank you so much well, well, by the way what is the next destination after Dubai uh, yeah I'm curious uh, about it oh yeah I'm back to Ethiopia back to work <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. you have a television show as well so yes. tell us a little bit about that uh, my TV show so like I'm a traveler I have a YouTube channel I have a YouTube channel called Lavisha Traveler And on that channel, I showcase travel, history, culture, and these type of things. And the TV show is kind of based on that. But since it's, uh, since it's, it's a TV show, to give it like a little spin, uh, the, the show is called Ambassador. It's in the national TV. And uh, we first interview ambassadors of around the world. Okay. And then we go to their country. We make a cultural... Like, their, we promote their country 
And at the same time, we interview our own representative in their country, in their country. and then we showcase it. That's why I like I'm here on holiday, but I ended up working. <laughs> <laughs> so interesting, so, the exactly. best kind. And uh, I interviewed the Ethiopian ambassador here, and I also did a video that like the travel video of Dubai, mm -hmm. and Ramsey Travel Tour and Travel have sponsored us, yes. and we made a beautiful show so together wait for it and your youtube channel right exactly and uh, yeah that's we what we do wait. ethiopia we get ready wait. for judy she's get coming back. exactly <laughs> i'm coming <laughs> <laughs> thank you okay, so thank much you. again guys thank and you so much until we see you next week have a blessed